in the bottle Honey, turn it down, I'll be sorry Only thing that I know Is the glitters and ain't gold I just let my heart break And straight back to a good song She make a pretty smile oh. Today, we're back out in area BFE. We're running a trail called El Dorado. Uh, this is a super fun trail. It's one of the first rock crawling trails I've ever ran. So it's awesome to get back out here and get to run this trail. Area BFE is private land. During Jeep Safari, they open it up and you have to sign a, a release waiver and just pay to get access to it. But it's definitely worth paying to get the access to trails like this because this is one of my favorite trails of all time. This spot is known as the Gatekeeper on Hell Dorado. It's the first obstacle on the trail. I almost think you gotta get up on this, up here, on this nub to get out. You can go straight ahead and then try to climb this wall at that nub. Yeah, get your back end over here. I'm trying. That's good. Now climb this wall. Depending on the rainfall over the winter, this obstacle changes a ton. Last year we drove straight through this section without even spinning a tire. It was in the video I put out one year ago. That's how much this obstacle changes. Maybe I'll flatten you out. I kept trying to work every angle I could to try and get my tires to go up over this giant undercut ledge. Just wasn't going to happen. I ended up backing out and just taking the way everybody else has been taking recently. More. There you go. As I start to drop in the next section on this obstacle, I realize I probably didn't take the best line. However, the buggy is able to flex it out here and get through it. This could get a little weird. You're gonna get a, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna, you're gonna land it. This is Max Chase in his Rock Lizard with 47 inch tires. Those massive tires eat up this giant hole. Now, it's Zig's turn to drop in. Depending on how you hit this line, it can really max your flex out. next obstacle is a really twisty type obstacle that leans your cage over into that driver's side wall. At about the point your cage starts touching that wall and all of a sudden it bites and starts carrying you towards that passenger side.
is able to hit this line exactly right. You just gotta hang with it till it climbs. I've been down the wrong road, and I've been all alone. Drinking whiskey in the bottle, and I'm trying to drown all this all alone. Anything that I know, if it could is it ain't gold. I just let my heart break, and straight back to a good song. Pretty smile. All the breaks that we be taking make it seem like it done been a while. Never mind. We sleeping with our past ghosts. Ask those on that road. How long this painted last for? I don't know. But that ain't new to me. Usually I'd foolishly just think that we could be something we couldn't be. Huh. Trying to hear that truth we never spoke. Never known a different goal to chase it down with his gold. If getting what you want required, letting go. And that we never capturing our youth required. Getting old. Uh. But all these choices they done been my own. Kind the same road again we go. Just hoping that the end is different though. This is the infamous exit waterfall to El Dorado. It's super intimidating driving up because as you put your front tires up on it, literally, unless you have a super long wheelbase, your tires aren't anywhere near the top of that. So what you gotta do is use a ton of momentum to get that front tire up and over the top. But your rear has to be lined up just right. The waterfall felt extra tall. It felt bigger than it felt uh, the last time that I went up it. And how I gauge that is when you line up and put your tires on it, how far your tires are from the top. And then you have to use a ton of momentum to get those tires over the top and to get it to climb. So that, that was a blast. Um, the, old, the old Vortec 4.3 got it done. I got the tires up and over the top and we crawled on out. So that was a lot of fun. So now we are heading out onto the Green Day Trail. This is another trail that's one of my one of my favorites around area BFE. Just one of those ones that when we first started rock crawling, we would go do laps on. Uh, so it's fun. It's really fun to get back out here and hit these trails. Just have a blast. Just make a pretty smile. All the breaks that we've been taking make it seem like it done been a while. Never mind. We sleeping with a past ghost ass. Some people call this obstacle impossible. Some people refer to it as Suicide Hill. Either way, when things go well, it's a super fun obstacle. But things can get weird on this one real quick. Don't forget to leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Zig was in such a hurry to get out to Moab that he forgot to air down his tires. He didn't realize till after this trip that he had like 26 PSI in those tires. If you look at them, you can see that they're barely bulging.
Whoa. Things get weird really quick for Zig up on top of that hill. Lydia's got to get out of the way in case anything weird happens. Fuck that winch down! Fuck your winch down! Zig ends up in an awkward wheel stand, and that's the last place you want that to happen. So he starts playing around with the winch to help pull, that use the weight of the front axle to pull the car down. This next spot is a wedge type obstacle right above Suicide Hill. This is another really fun spot to play around on.